Hey guys, Noe here, and uh, it's been a while. I know I haven't uploaded in a few months, but I've been very busy. I've graduated from uni, got a full-time job, and some things come up, came up along the way, but you know, it's all good now. So I'll be able to upload weekly dev vlogs again. Now in my past videos, I got a lot of feedback that my game was looking too similar to Forager, so I've decided to start from scratch and make a simple and reasonable roguelike. So the most important features of roguelikes is the random dungeon generator and since this is also one of the more difficult tasks to do, I thought I may as well get it over with now. Now in regards to how it's generated, it's quite simple. I just generate rooms randomly across a predefined I guess, uh, map size and then I add corridors that connect the next room to the previous room by like the center point of each room. So it can either create like a vertical or horizontal um, corridor. Um, so originally the map is initially filled with all of my wall tile. And when I make rooms, I'm basically just removing the inner tiles and leaving empty space. If you kind of want to know more on how to do this, just leave a comment down below and um, let me know. This way of generating dungeons seems to be working quite well, which is good. So this is what it ended up looking like. Excuse the character, but um, yeah, as you can see there are rooms of different sizes and they either have a vertical or horizontal corridor connecting them. Okay, so cool. Now with all this done, what good is a dungeon with no baddies in it? So let's get to it. Now the creation of new enemies is really easy because of the entity class I have. All I have to do is fill in a few details and BAM! We have a new entity or um, monster. And placing them in the map is again also very simple. When a room is created, I also create a random amount of enemies for that room and give each enemy a spawn chance. So right now I've only got two enemies, a rat and a skeleton. Um, and here, in this map, I have my rats at a spawn rate of 80% and my skellies at 20% because when I implement combat, obviously, well, I hope so at least, a skeleton would do more damage than a rat. Now, with that out of the way, I next worked on how to implement a field of view and map discovery. It doesn't make sense that our player can see around corners and already knows all the tiles in the map even without exploring it. However, to implement this, it was very, 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 very complicated. In fact, I wasn't really able to come up with the idea myself. I had to use a function that I found online. And um, what this does is, is it essentially casts a horizontal and vertical light from my character and um, I guess it stops tracing once it hits a, a tile that blocks it. And anything that is, I, I guess, exposed by that light becomes discovered and visible. So if I move out of the line of sight of a tile, it would again cast the line again, and um, a fog would be placed over that tile because I can no longer see it. It's a bit um, hard to explain, so I'll just show you the gameplay of it. So, as you can see, when I move in and out of tile, the light is cast again and stuff that should be visible are visible. So it seems to work pretty well for now. It does give the character a good um, point of view, uh, field of view, sorry. And I also was able in to implement the beginnings of the combat. So when I run into an enemy, you can see in my console, that um, an action is triggered and all I have to do is essentially just add health values to the enemy and how to handle death and yada 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 and it should be all good. Anyway guys that's all for today's or this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I hope not everyone's pissed off that I ditched the old game. Actually I can't even develop that anymore because I got a new computer and I lost the files. So <laughs> anyway. But anyway, I'll be sure to upload a new video any every week, and yeah, thanks for watching, see ya!